Okay, so you wanna start modding Balatro, huh? Well, there's two things you need. You need Steam Modded and you need the lovely injector. You'll find links to both of these in the description and how to install them. Once you get the files, just extract both of them. Using whatever things you want, you will get the version.dll from the lovely thing and then the Steam Mods main folder, which will go to the mods folder in Balatro, which you can find right here. Slash Balatro. That should take you there. Then you will create a new folder called Mods. Draw this in here. And you're done with Steam Modded. Now what you need is you need the version.dll. And you will go to the Steam folder of your Balatro. Or you can just have a separate installation. For example, I have my Jimbo's++ mod here and I've extracted it all here and I put the DLL in the same folder and just run Balatro. Give it a second and... Are we good? Yeah, there we go. And... We are in. All right, that's done. Now we can install mods. How do we install mods? Well, for example, I'll take my Jimbo's++ mod. Nothing special in here. I'll just copy that folder. Throw it into the mods folder and repeat. Let's go back, run the same. Oh, that's not the same. Let me go right here. Balatro X. There we go. And now we should have Jimbo's++ active. And that's how you install mods. Uh, next up is how to make mods. So that's gonna be part two here. I'm gonna cut there once we confirm. Yep, Team Boss 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 is active and we have the jokers in. There we go. Okay, so how do you actually make your own mods then? Well, I've made you a sample base you can copy as your base. I have a sample Jimbo's thing. On GitHub, I'll throw the link in the description. Once you download the stuff, I do recommend you throw down your balatro.exe and you just extract to balatro. So you get the folder of the game, which is really handy because local tank decided not to like confiscate the whole file system thing. So you can just go into the game files, which is super helpful. For example, if we search for We Joker, we can just find exactly how it works and how to trigger things and like text files and stuff. We can see the, all the messages, all the configs and how to make the actual thing work. So for example, the We Joker I copied right here as the sample We. So let's go through how a Joker works when you mod this. You want to give it a slug, which is what you use when you refer to this joker. You have a name for it. You have the text for it. And in the text, we can have effects and uh, we can also refer to the config. So we can actually show like the total amount or the chips gained. Uh, the config holds all the details. So if you have any abilities or effects you want to keep track of, well, we'll throw them in here. Uh, position, if you have like a weirdly shaped one, like the half joker, you might want to center it using this. Rarity is just what kind of joker is it going to be. Cost, kind of self-explanatory, self right? Uh, blueprint combat. Now, this makes it so that your jokers might or might not work with blueprint. For example, the Wii joker is compatible halfly. You don't want to copy the effect of upgrading it, but you do want to copy the um, actual scoring part. So we do give it as true here. Uh, same with Eternal, you might not want Eternal Jokers sometimes. So we have a config for that as well. 
uh, unlock and discovered you can add your own like how to unlock a joker stuff but i didn't really go that far uh, i don't really know what effect does sure you might i don't know give it a mult for example if you modify the mult and soul post you can use if you want your joker art to like float like the hologram does which could be a bit tricky i don't know uh, then we have the calculate function we have context and self self is the joker itself or the blueprint card and then the context tells us where we are in the game there's millions of different combinations of context but the main 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 parts you can probably find in this sample file you can also go here and just dig for them in the Balatro game code. They are kind of a one huge else if like jungle, but you can get them out of there as well. Uh, for example, if we are a blueprint card copying the thing, we can check for that. We can check for what rank of card we are. If this is a two, we continue. And then for the scoring part, if we are in the context Joker main, so that's the scoring part, and we are in the Jokers of that scoring phase. And then we can return chips from our config thing. We can also edit the values in here, like here. So we add chips to the Joker, it also updates the text. And then location definition, we can decide what we want to show in the text file. Uh, the indexes go from one to up. So one is the first, this is the one, this is number two. And that's how the Joker text works. There's also quite a slew of different things you can have in the text. There's a billion different colors and effects. You can find a bunch of them here. And in general, thank you to Mr. I don't know, who even made the mod back called BB Balatro. I just did what every self respecting developer does and just yonked this entire file structure from you. So thank you. Uh, I did improve some of this stuff, but sure, wouldn't have happened without you. So thank you. Oh well, what do you want to do here? Uh, you can have your name, ID, uh, the mod author, be sure to have the brackets, otherwise it won't start. Uh, you can have a description version, you can have a sign and stuff, and then uh, if you want any like helper functions, share it with all the jokers, you can have different functions above the actual jokers thing object. Uh, like for example the shake card I copied from the game files and added here to make it easier to use it and you can just give it the card you want to shake and then it shakes it by 0.5 and 0.5 I don't know use your own values if you want uh, then they are return values there's quite a few of them you can have chips mult and x mult the game also has like mod xmult which basically does the same thing i have no idea what the difference is but these three you can do anything with them you can return chips mult and xmult all at once or just one of them the card and the message defines under which card you want to show the message and also the extra focus thing is also kind of another way to show messages and run functions I don't really know what's the difference, but sure, maybe you figured that out. Uh, that's about it. Well, thanks for watching and mud hard.